Hi, my name is Jose Luis Jimenez and today I'll be demonstrating the basic principles of how a magnetic levitator works. So some of the materials we use were an electromagnet, an Arduino, a permanent magnet, and the most important thing, the linear Hall effect sensor. Some of the basic principles of how electromagnet works um, is that an electromagnet are made by applying a current through a conductor. This creates a magnetic field, and this magnetic field can increase by adding more turns to the coil or just adding a bolt. This device, these devices are used on motors, generators, and many other electromechanical systems. So some of the basic principles of how a whole effect sensor work is that this type of sensors are used to measure uh, magnetic field intensity. And the output of this device is the voltage that is proportional to the applied magnetic field. So today we're going to be looking at an application of this type of sensor with magnetic levitation. So the Hall effect principles were discovered by American physicist Edwin Hall in 1879. He found that when a moving current passes through a conductor and a magnetic field is introduced perpendicular to the current, the electrons flowing on the conductor begin to, begin to deflect due to the Lorentz force. This as a result places all the negative and positive charges opposite to one another on the plate. This basic principle is what generates the output voltage, better known as the whole voltage. So to figure out this whole voltage, we use the Lorentz force when the charge is being deflected by the magnetic field reaches steady state. So the Lorentz force is zero, and we can solve for the electric field. This electric field is just the uh, negative jute speed times the uh, magnetic flux in the C direction. So to find this whole voltage, we use the electric field we just derived in an equation from the notes on page 2.37. Integrating this value, we get that the whole voltage is equal to the negative drift speed times the magnetic flux in the C direction times the length. So now to solve for these um, drift speed, we use an equation on page 2.48 from the notes. And so we get that the whole voltage produced is directly related to the magnetic flux. That is why this voltage can vary depending on how far the magnet is to the sensor. Now that we know how an electromagnet and a whole effect sensor work, let's look at the basic principle of how an electromagnetic levitation works. Um, this works by having the electromagnet attract the permanent magnet, and when the magnet is close enough, the whole effect sensor detects it and turns the solenoid off, so the magnet falls back down, and when this magnet is very low, the sensor doesn't detect it anymore and turns the coil back on, which attracts the magnet again. Um, this happens so fast, and we see magnetic levitation. All right, so let's see it in action. We weren't exactly able to make it levitate. We tried many different electromagnets, whole sensors, and different codes, but it just wouldn't work for us. However, we did get it to balance real nice, so we'll see that.